In this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna go back in time and create an 8-bit effect. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and today I got a quick tutorial. Haven't had a lot of time to do a huge tutorial here, but I think this is a great effect because more goes into this than just applying like a mosaic effect to make it pixelated. I think a few more effects can go into this to make it look really good. So I'll go ahead and just delete my adjustment layer and go up to layer, new adjustment layer. We went up to effect, stylize, and we're gonna add uh, posterize. I hope I said that correctly. And this is where we wanna play around with it. So basically we wanna kinda tear down the image a little bit and kinda you know, limit the range of colors. So maybe we'll come here, maybe set this to 20. Now this might depend, um, you know, maybe I'll set it down to 10. We'll go ahead and play this a little bit later, but uh, then we'll go up to effect stylize cartoon and really what we want to do is emphasize the edges of our objects so what we can do is go into the edge here set the threshold to like three and maybe set the width to about three as well or around that area and this will emphasize some of the edges and you know make it look you know a little bit more like we designed each object here it's not perfect especially when you plant the video but this is you know a quick effect so then let's go up to effect stylize and we'll add mosaic and this is where the pixelation is really going to come and give you that 8-bit feel. And, you know, this is a little bit, you know, exaggerated right now. It looks like we're playing, we're like zoomed in on Minecraft or something. But let's go here and set the blocks to 256 by 256. And now we're starting to get, you know, a pixelated feel. But if we click on sharp colors, you know, it'll look a little bit more defined and not exactly pixelated. So, and of course, we can alter some of these settings. So, like, I was, you know, swap between 126 and 126 between 256. So this way, you know, the uh, blocks will look a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit more, you know, unreadable uh, as far as the image goes. But so I would go with 126 or 256 all the way through. Uh, but for the most part, if you play with the uh, block size here, just keep both these numbers the same so they'll be perfect squares. So we'll keep it there. And of course, we go to like another part of our image here. You know, we can take a look at another clip here. You know, this is starting to tear up a little bit, and that's because of the uh, posterize effect. We can always set this up to like 20. And, you know, this is where some of our image will come back together and you'll know, be a little bit more defined. So that's something you want to keep in mind. And then, the, you know, to top this effect off, let's go up to Effect, uh, Blur and Sharpen, and let's add the Unsharpening Mask effect. And this will kind of, you know, make some of those uh, pixels or, sorry, should I say that 8-bit, you know, feel kind of stand out a little bit more. So we might just come here and, you know, set this to like 180 or something like that, the amount for the Unsharpened Mask. And as you see... Once it loads up here, it's just it's a little bit more sharp and a little bit more defined of what we're kind of doing here. This all depends on what video clip you're applying it to. Some of these settings might need to be changed. Uh, like I said, like the 126 might work best. So as I said, you might want to change some of these settings. Like maybe the actual edges here are too rough. So maybe you set the threshold down to like, you know, 1.5 or something. And I'll make the, like the background edges here a little bit more, you know, easy to go with. And then maybe you want to set the, uh, you know, mosaic down to 126 and this way the blocks will be a little bit bigger. So this is something you need to work with. And then of course, maybe we we'll go back to the posterize and set this down to 10. So it all depends on the clip that you're going for. And of course you can apply this, you know, quickly to other sorts of clips. So maybe we could do it to motion graphics as well. Uh, there's a lot of uses for this effect. And I think this is a cool way of doing an 8-bit effect to your live action footage. Um, of course, if you were gonna do this 8-bit effect with motion graphics, I would actually create an 8-bit motion graphic, and I will do a tutorial on creating 8-bit motion graphics coming up real soon. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more After Effects tutorials. And if you have not already, please be sure to check me out on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a good day.